Okay, hi everyone. Um, I'm just going to show you now how to get the basics of your Mandala started. So, uh, in order to do this, we want to get uh, into events, click on the green flag, and then we want to put our sprite or character in the right place to start our drawing. So let's just stick them in the center of the grid. So we go to X00. And then the other important thing is you'll want them to be pointing in the direction of 90 degrees. So when they start, we want them to be pointing this way. Uh, that just lets you know that you're always going to have the same starting point and your shape's going to draw going from left to right at the beginning each time. So uh, point and direction. And then for this now, we need to use the pen tool. So press on the extensions, click on pen, and you'll get some extra blocks which allow you to use the pen to start drawing. So like if you've been drawing a piece of paper, it's really important that you put the pen down on the piece of paper. And by putting the pen down, it means you'll be able to draw. Uh, let's put a raise all in. So once we've drawn something, whenever we pick the green flag, it will raise everything again. So we're not drawing over the same thing. Uh, set the pen colour. We can change it if we want. I'll change it to a little lighter purple, but you can whatever colour you want. And then I'm going to set my pen size. Uh, I'm going to make it five, so it's relatively thick, so we can see it for this example. So I've got, I've got my um, pen set up ready to go now. So now needs to draw the shape. So I'm just going to draw off um, a simple square to begin with. So because a square is an even shape, I can repeat four times. Uh, I want my um, shape to go. I want my square to start off by going forward. Evens four even sides. I need four corners, and I need them to rotate ninety degrees. Okay. So I'll show you what this does. Let me kind of quick look. So I press the green flag and I have a square. Now my cat's kind of covering my square, which is a little bit annoying. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go back to pen. I'm going to, actually I'll show you what happens if you don't do it. So I'm going to glide my cat out of the way. Um, but I'll bring that one in a minute. I'm going to put my, I want my cat to go up here out of the way. So then it changes the XY for me. So I want to glide the cat to that position. So now watch what happens. So I click go, it raises, draws, and leaves and goes away. But because I've got to take the pen up, I'll leave this line behind. So go to pen. And before the cat moves, I want to put the pen up. So let's have a look. Draws, moves out of the way. Okay. So that's how to draw one basic square. But obviously, I need to, uh, for a mandala, I need repeating shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to round, re, re, I'm going to repeat to my square, but make it also move after each square. So for that, I need to go into uh, control, and I need to put a repeat around my repeat. Now I'm going to repeat it ten times, but after each square, I'm going to move forward a tiny bit, and I'm going to make my position rotate a little bit. Now because I've done 10 times I was going to be 36 because I need to make sure that the number of degrees matches the number of rotations so I create a circle and then I'll put my pen up and move the cat out of the way but the cat still might be in the way for me but we'll see. So let's see what happens when I do this. Comes and you can see I start to get a rotated pattern. So what I could do is I could shorten the number of steps to 50, I could increase the number of steps here to 25. See what happens now. I've got a really tight little mandala happening there. Let's change this out to 200. Let's see what happens now. You'll see it's got too big, it's pretty messy. So let's try uh, 150. Let's just try one more here. Okay, so you can start to see I'm getting a pattern occurring. And if I change this to like one step, and let's repeat this 20 times, make this 18 degrees, let's see what I get. Okay, so again, different, different things happening there. So you could start to do similar, and you could adjust, obviously, the shape that you want. So this little block of uh, shapes there, for me, is a square but you might want to change that square bit and put in the code for a different shape that you want to occur. And then these two here are really fun for your rotations um, that you 
you can do. So you might want to adjust these two as well here, which makes the changes to how spread the shapes are and how many, and that will obviously this repeat dictates how many of them are. So actually there's 20 squares there if you wanted to count them. You could, and if you wanted to see that easily, you could put a weight after each one of them. So let's see how it'll draw a square, weight, another square, weight, another square, you get the picture. Okay. So I'm just going to erase everything on the screen there. And you could also, if you wanted to, let's just uh, get my cat back in the right place. Draw my one square. Um, I'll get rid of that weight. Get my cat back in the right place. Draw my shapes. Get him out of the way. I actually don't like the cat for this, so you could change the cat to a different sprite uh, let me show you, you could do uh, choose sprite there's like a pen sprite or something so i'll get the pencil sprite bring that in um i'm gonna shrink my pencil down Oop, delete that first shrink my pencil down so it's a bit smaller and then i want that cow from that cat so i can drag and drop it on to the pencil i can get rid of the cat and then i'll draw with a pencil instead bit more friendly I'd have to like the pencil a bit more but yeah there's how to make a basic mandala now you need to use that to create your even better mandala a more complex one changing the shapes and the rotations but this is the code here good luck enjoy